This is JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals. I'm Dean Perrine, and welcome to JSA TV. We are coming at you on location from ITW 2017, and I am here with Mr. John Heiderscheidt. John is the Chief Compliance Officer, officer correct, correct. At, at MDI Access. John, welcome to JSA TV. Dean, thank you so much. It's a real pleasure to see you again and be here with Jamie Scotto and Associates and here at ITW. They're putting on a really great show for us this week. Outstanding. Thank you very, very much, John. So, John, let's um, tell our viewers a little bit about MDI Access. You guys have been in business since 1992, and I believe your website said that you have been on Inc. Inc. Magazine's like top like uh, three times for like a uh, top we have. private company. We've been company. one of the yeah. fastest growing companies, yep. according to Inc. Magazine, a number of different times. MDI Access is a full service design build data center general contractor, mm -hmm. but that doesn't really tell the whole story. We also develop data centers. We own and operate data centers. So really what we are is a team of data center professionals that can help folks out there with any kind of issues across the industry, industry spectrum. Very good. Let's talk about those folks. I believe I read that um, like upwards of 95%, 93% of your um, customers are returning customers. They so why, why do those folks keep coming back? Repeat or referral. Well, a lot of it has to do with our partnership philosophy. A uh, number of folks in the space that we play in view projects as one-offs or single projects, and they're looking at how do they make that the most valuable project for their company. At MDI, we have a partnership philosophy. Anybody that walks into the door, we treat as though we're in their shoes and we need to accomplish what they need to accomplish the best way we can and at the best budget they can. Mm -hmm. So what we are is a uh, trusted advisor and a partner with you throughout whatever project you're doing, whether you're doing a cage rollout in a colo or designing and building a new four to six megawatt data center to an infrastructure. Mm -hmm. We put ourselves in the owner of the project's shoes and really try to figure out what's going to get them to the best resolution at the best cost possible. Very, very good. So um, let's see. what. Okay, so I'll also um, let's talk about your process. You guys sure. have a very clearly defined sure. five-step process um, and philosophy there at uh, MDI Access. Why don't you tell us about that? We do. Uh, define, design, model, construct, commission. And I would say the most important piece of that is to define. Mm -hmm. You know, when you're doing a, a data center build, whether you're retrofitting a building or building new, uh, what you really need to do, although that the majority of the money of that project is going to be spent in the construction and commissioning phase, mm -hmm. uh, smaller but the most important uh, part of that process is the definition phase. Uh, you can spend all the money in the world. If you don't define your project the right way from the beginning, you're not going to have a successful project, and that's going to be wasted money. So what we have is a great team of uh, independent engineers that we work with, that we've worked with for more than 10 years, uh, do a great job in the electrical system design, the mechanical system design. When they're structural or civil, they do a great job there. Uh, and it's been a team that's had a lot of successful results throughout the years. So um, defining is definitely the most important piece mm -hmm. of that. If you get a little ahead of your skis, you can find that you've spent a lot of money foolishly down the road. So that's where the process comes from and why we use it. It's uh, It's been a, a great process for folks that we've had since we've employed it more than 20 years ago. Outstanding. So let's talk about, um, we just, you've been, uh, you, uh, you've been around a long time. You we just have. said 20 years, we all right? Um, but what about next year? What, what does MDI access look like next year? How are, how are things changing there? So we're moving as much into the development piece of things as we are in the design build piece of things. Mm -hmm. One of the things that we're doing now is offering a participation lease or an equity rebate lease to folks who want to come and anchor in a data center that we develop. Uh, part of the reason for that is we think it gives us Very competitive cool. mm -hmm. advantage against some of the bigger players like the Equinixes or DRTs. If you can come in and anchor with an MDI data center, you can achieve a significant OPEX reduction over the life of your lease without having to cut out program requirements like security, infrastructure bolstering, and all of that. So uh, part of the reason we put that program together is we're seeing uh, a big preference in folks across the industry spectrum for uh, moving to an all OPEX model. That's probably mm -hmm. why the cloud is so popular. Sure. Uh, but things like that come with security and downtime issues. So if you can achieve the same financial uh, rates and still have the infrastructure and program requirements that are important to you, you're ahead of the game. So that's why we introduced that. Uh, but we'll be designing and building data centers. We just got done with one in Atlanta. It was a 40,000 foot office building. We retrofitted, took out a, a mezzanine from there and put in uh, <laughs> a one cool. megawatt requirement there. So 
Uh, and getting back to the idea of why do we have customers come back to us, uh, when we went down there, the objective was to get a Tier 2 data center. Uh, when we walked away, leadership came to us and said, you know, we paid for a Tier 2 data center, but we got Tier 3. So um, those are some of the reasons we have folks come back to us all the awesome. time. We know how to maximize the dollars spent on these projects. Very good, John. Thank you. So um, for our viewers that don't already know, um, how can they learn more about MDI Access? Uh, you can always reach us at our website, www.mdiaccess.com. Uh, I'm available on Twitter. I'm now in the Twitter sphere at MDI Congratulations. Access. Thank you so much. I did plug JS ATV before I came in here because we, you we guys, appreciate that, John. you're a great team of professionals. You do Thank a really great service much. for the industry. Um, uh, you can reach us at 708 597 0111. Ask for John Heiderscheidt. Um, but any which way, we're always available for folks uh, who need to learn more about whether they're deploying in a uh, cage in a colo, whether they're designing and building new, whether they need a migration strategy, all those good things. We're a team of data center professionals that's here to help you. John, thanks for being with us today. I appreciate it. No problem. Thanks. It's great to see you again and hang in there, get through this show, and maybe we'll do it again at the next ITW. I would like that. I would like that. Thanks again. And thank you, viewers, for watching JSA TV. We'll see you soon.